this let's say you want to prove the distance between two parallel planes okay firstly if plane one and plane two are parallel you know that the they will share the same normal so it's r dot n this n is the same as this n here okay they have to share the same normal so we we use the normal where they are pointing in the same direction okay for convenience also plane two here is r2 la. and this is r dot n okay so it will equals to a constant k k1 and k2 i don't know whether you use k1 or k2 so now we want to show the distance between these two plane here how do we show that the formula is k1 minus k2 modulus k1 minus k2 over mod n that's the thing okay now like i say ah uh, in vectors it seems like you need to remember a lot of things but you only need dot product cross product and magic triangle anything to do with distance you use magic triangle okay so firstly you just need two points on the plane on each plane like you need one point from each plane okay so namely i'm just getting very creative here i let this be r1 because this is on plane one and i let this be r2 yeah okay so r1 r2 so this guy would be like that Maybe I don't use R1 R2, it looks a bit ugly. So let's say this is A and this is B. La. Okay. So I'm just do this. There you go. So now once you've done that really, then what you need to do, uh you you draw this. Now what we want is we want to force a magic triangle out. So we have the vector A to B. Then we have the normal vector here. La. We have the normal vector. The normal vector doesn't have to subtend the entire thing, but it could be like that. Is normal vector okay now we can invoke magic triangle so remember ah, uh, magic triangle is essentially two known um, is, is essentially a tocaso uh, trigger ratio on steroids okay so you have got a b and you have n here firstly you need to identify any kind of trigger ratio you need to identify the angle subtended between them any kind of right angle triangle you need to find the angle right so the angle they're looking at is this guy here it has to be this guy okay so you ask yourself in this triangle here am i looking for the adjacent side or the opposite side so the length that i'm looking for is the adjacent side yeah so this guy will be what this guy will be a b dot n uni vector then a b dot n uni vector remember if a and b are points from plane one and plane two so which equation will they satisfy all right so if they are so a will satisfy plane a and b will satisfy plane b ma. so a when you satisfy means you substitute a r as a so meaning r r as a will satisfy plane one so when r equals to a satisfy plane one ah. so essentially this will be a dot n equals to k1 and b dot n equal okay cause so you then what you do get is the shortest distance between them so the distance between distance between two parallel planes will be modulus a b so with n e vector okay there you go so it's this one this guy it's, it's nothing more than it's just magic triangle so what you do is uh this guy will be uh uh o a o b minus o a unit vector will just be it means that you divide yourself make it one so this guy will be b minus a sorry of n over n distribute this in what you get is um b dot n minus a dot n this is where you get it is this guy this is your k2 this is your k1 so this will just be 
It doesn't whether you take K1 minus K2 or K2 minus K1 because the modulus will settle itself. You, you can also make this K1 minus K2. It really doesn't matter. Say, we have two parallel planes. Plane 1 is R equals to R dot 1 minus 2, 1 is equals to 4. Plane 2 is R dot minus 1, 2 minus 1 is equals to 10. Now this one you have to be careful. This is typically, you know that this is, these two planes are parallel because these two normal are parallel. But you cannot use the formula unless the, 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 they are the same sign. So usually if they are different sign, one side multiplied by negative one, multiplied by negative one. Okay. Then this will just be R equals to one minus two. Change it to the same sign first. So the distance between the two planes will be K1 minus K2 over modulus 1 minus 2, 1. Just it. You just use the formula um, K2 minus K1 Very simple one. That. 